episode 2759 of the number one podcast and Apple podcast for job search. You are listening to or watching No BS Job Search Advice Radio. I'm your host, Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter, and welcome. People hire me for No BS Job Search Advice and career coaching globally because I make things so much easier for people. And I've started to do that recently with jobsearch.community, a site where I've got all my information there for one low price. And I've got some free stuff on the homepage if, if that's all you really want. But, you know, I make myself available to answer questions and to coach at a very low price at jobsearch.community. So I do hope you join me there. And today's show is one where I answered a question from someone. I'm having trouble finding someone who can help me relocate to the Northeast. People are willing to help me get to the Northwest, but I'm trying to get to the Northeast. What should I do? Hope you find this helpful. Please give this show a great review wherever you listen to it or watch it. Share it on LinkedIn. Share it elsewhere. Help people by sharing the show. And I'll be back in just one moment. My last job was moved to the Northwest U.S., and I was not able to travel. It has only been 40 days, but I'm going stir crazy. Ideally, I want to end up in the Northeast, but I can only find recruiters that are just trying, looking to fill a hole. Any advice? Well, that is what recruiters do. Recruiters are hired by a corporation. I'm going to start with contingency recruiters. It really makes no difference whether it's contingency or retained, but retained, I think people understand. Contingency, most people don't. The mistake many job hunters make with contingency firms is that they think that because they talk with them, that they work for them. The the contingency recruiter works for the job hunter. Nothing could be further from the truth. Contingency recruiters are paid a fee contingent upon them completing assignment and filling a job with someone who meets a requirement that their client has for which the client has agreed to pay them a fee. Now, that's the structured answer. The short version is they're hired by companies to fill jobs. And unless they're filling a job, they're not making any money. Their job is not to place you. After all, what are you paying them, right? You're paying them nothing. And the result winds up being most people have the expectation the job, uh, that recruiters work for them, and they don't. You work for the people who are paying you, and that's not the case. So what can you do if you're in a situation where you want to move? And the answer, very frankly, is you start contacting recruiters who seem to have jobs in your area, in your in the specified geographic area that you're looking for. And you may notice that they have two or three ads. I'll just use a generic one, uh, let's say, in technology, accounting and finance, you know, operations, whatever it is. And you contact the firms in that area, knowing that they may not have a job open and just very simply message them. It could be through LinkedIn. It could be through email and say, I notice you happen to have a couple of positions open for such and such. I'm not seeing anything that fits my background. Would you please accept my resume add it to your database, and when something opens up, reach out to me. That's really what you can do. And then you start networking with companies that hire people with your skill set. Now, the reality is recruiters fill, recruiters in job ads fill maybe 30% of positions. The rest are filled as a result of networking. And depending upon the statistics that that you see, I'm seeing as little as 50% of jobs are filled through recruiters. I've seen as much as, I'm sorry, through networking, and as much as 70% filled as a result of networking. So where do you think you should be spending your time? The answer is networking into firms and to decision makers who who hire people like you. That's really what you need to be doing. It's not about recruiters because between recruiters and job ads, that's 30% of jobs. You want to be doing it with hiring managers because even if they don't have a job open, 
what you can say to them is, is there someone you can point me to who it might make sense for me to speak with another organization? Maybe it's a former subordinate. Maybe it's a, a former uh, person to whom you reported. Whomever it is, is there someone you could point me to who generally hires people like me? I'm networking right now. I'm in a different part of the country. I just want to see if I can connect. So that's the way I'd handle that. So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, here are a couple of ways I can help you even more. First of all, connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash The Big Game Hunter. Mention that you listen to or watch the show. I like knowing I'm helping some people. Also, join me at jobsearch.community. Now, whether you become an insider or not, there's a lot of stuff on the homepage to help you. Books, guides, video courses, videos, some good stuff to help you. And if you become an insider, you get access to all my video courses, books, and guides. And you can ask me questions and I log in daily to respond to everyone. If you become an Insider Plus member, all the same stuff I've mentioned to you before, plus you can get me on a Zoom call to answer your questions more immediately. And if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one or group coaching, become an Insider Premium member. There's a lot there that we'll work on to help you land your next job. And you get all the other content as well. Hope you have a terrific day, and most importantly, be great.